Hello. In this video, I'm going to go over the station setup process. So if you want to set up on a point and start gathering data or traversing, uh, this is these are the steps you'll take. First step on the main general survey screen is, is the measure. Um, at that point, you have this top option. We don't have a station setup, so um, we're going to use this station setup. So this will be where we define our our Occupy and Backsite points. So here we have the corrections. If you haven't done this uh, already um, that day or, or since opening the job, it'll it'll come up with the pressure. So standard pressure is 29.90. Um, temperature today is more like 35 than 75. Um, and then parts per million is computed automatically. So we don't need to change that. We will correct for curvature and refraction and that's calculated as well um, and show corrections at startup. This is a good idea to leave this checked so that way you can verify the temperature and pressure is, is reasonable and within a few degrees and a few tenths of inches of mercury. Okay so now we have uh, instrument point name. Now remember Trimble references the name of the point it's actually the point number. So here we have some options. If we click on the triangle on the side, it's we can pick from a list. So this will list our points. So we can see we've keyed in uh, four points. So um, again, the, the instrument point name is your Occupy point. And I'm going to Occupy point one, and it automatically fills in the CP1, which is control point one. And, um, Instrument height. So this is your measurement. So you want to measure up the side of the instrument uh, from the point on the ground up to the, um, you'll see the, the plus symbol on the side of the total station itself. So this is the height in feet because we defined our distance units as feet. So I'm going to use five. I'm assuming five because as, as I mentioned in an earlier video, I'm set up on the table. So this is all just an assumption. And hit enter and accept. So now your backside point, you want to choose again the, the point name is the number. I'm going to backside uh, point two. Automatically fills that in. Backside height is again a, a measurement uh, from the, the point itself on the ground up to the center of the prism. And then angle and distance is, is a good one to, to try because it does give you a double check that your points were keyed in correctly for one. And um, two, it gives you a confirmation that you're actually aiming at the correct point. So angles and distance is a good one if it's not already selected, which I believe it defaults to angles only. You do want to change that to, to angles and distance. And once you have the total station pointed at your backside point, um, again I'm inside, I'm, I'm going to put it on DR and just do a point on the wall. And obviously my error will be present because I, I'm not set up in the field on, on actual points. So next step is to measure. And it comes up with your um, horizontal distance error, vertical distance error um, right there. And then backside height. I thought I entered three, but I might not have hit enter. And then if I want to continue surveying, I'm going to go ahead and store that. So just said station setup completed, and I'm ready to survey. So again, this was uh, station setup. Thanks for watching.